Welcome, sports fans. PickDogs.com on this Tuesday, May 9th. I'm your host, Mike Davis. Check around some free selections coming up for you in just a moment. I tell you what, give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Plethora of information each and every day on this sports gambling channel. So make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and share the video via your social media outlets. Tell you what, got off the snide yesterday, 2-0 in Major League Baseball, bouncing back. I'm known in this industry for all of my, I'm streaky. I'm streaky. Everybody knows it. They call me Streaky Mike in many circles. The winning streak started yesterday. Let's get back hot. Was 15-6 and six in Major League Baseball and then lost eight in a row. Hey, it is what it is. 15-14, and 14, won two in a row last night, or won two last night. I wouldn't call that two in a row, so... 17 and 14 in Major League Baseball. Let's see if we can start that winning streak up one more time. As many of you know, I don't give out big favorites. My numbers are always very, very solid. So uh, let, let's start that winning. The winning streak started last night. Jump on it today, of course, over at pickdogs.com. Do I sound country when I say pick dogs? I think I do. So there's a lot of people down here that sound a lot more country than me. I'll just say that. Okay, let's get to your free selections. We've had our fun. I got a sick child home this morning with my 12-year-old son, and he has been helping me with this for the past two and a half hours. Uh, so I'm, I'm teaching him a little bit about handicapping. We're having a good time. I'm trying to keep his mind off being sick. So he's helped me with these selections. So when these selections win, you guys can give Tyson a lot of credit. All right, here we go. Chicago White Sox minus a half, minus 150 in the first five. I really like this pitching matchup. I really do. Uh, Giolito versus Lyles. That's just a pitching mismatch. Of epic proportions, if you ask me. You know, Lyles, he's on his way out of Major League Baseball. He really is. 10.20 in his last three starts. ERA in his last three starts. He's really been getting knocked around a good bit. I look for the Chicago White Sox to hit him. Giolito, on the other hand, has really faced some tough competition so far this year. He really has, and he's pitched well, and he's kept his ERA down at 3.67. Now, the team wins haven't ne necessarily come. His team is 1-6 and six when he pitches. Uh, Lyles, on the other hand, his team is 0-7 when he pitches. But I like the matchup with Giolito on the mound versus Lyles. The Royals do hit the ball hard. We mentioned that yesterday, but they have an abysmal 661 OPS against righties, and they're batting just 231. I look for them to uh, struggle a little bit against Giolito. And having said that, I really look for Lyles to continue to struggle. I look for the White Sox to batter him. I look for the White Sox to bounce back. I look uh, from a, a disappointing loss yesterday. Having said that, I like the Chicago White Sox. I'll lay the half a run and play them in the first five innings. Your other two selections, I'm going to change it up a little bit on you. I'm going to take the Celtics in the first quarter, the Boston Celtics, NBA, National Basketball Association. You've heard of it. They shoot hoops, you know. You know what they do. Well, let me tell you a little bit of uh, interesting uh, facts about this series so far. In every game of this series, the home team – Home team has led after the first quarter, okay? And Boston's leads have been the biggest. Boston by seven in the first quarter in game one. They end up losing that game. Boston by six in game two. Of course, they won that game. Philly by one in game three. They lost that one. Philly by eight in game four. They win that one. Having said that, I look for the Boston Celtics to come out absolutely on fire. They need this win to maintain home court advantage. They're coming off a disappointing overtime loss in which James Harden just went nuts. I look for Boston and the fans to be in this one early. I'll take the Boston Celtics in the first quarter minus two and a half points. Now, the other NBA tonight, I'm going to take the Nuggets in the first half minus three points. In game one, even though they were, I think they were down by one at the end of a quarter, they ended up leading by 17 at the half. They hit a huge second quarter. I look for this game to pretty much play out exactly like, like the script in game one. You'll see a motivated Denver Nuggets team. You'll see why Nikola Jokic, I believe, is the best player in the league. I think he comes out tonight and has a big, big game. He'll establish some dominance. I look for the Nuggets to win this game. Uh, well, I'm, I don't know about the game. I don't have a play on the game, but I look for the Nuggets to dominate this first half, especially the second quarter. I look for the Nuggets to cover three points in the first half. Those are your three selections, folks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a big thumbs up. Everybody have a great and profitable Monday.